Hey guys, what's up? Green Machine Sam back with another video. And today we are starting off a little bit differently, looking at player of the week, looking at a couple other things, and then we'll hop into the gameplay. Um, facing the Cardinals, basically my franchise from last year. If you guys do not remember, um, I built a pretty decent team, I think, on paper. Um, now, granted, overalls were a little low, so Madden didn't like us when I tried to sim the third year. DJ Moore is frustrated, understandably. Um, I would be too. When you have only like 10 catches going into this week or something. I think it was like 10 or 9 or 10 catches. But I've never really been able to find that number one wide receiver, it seems like. It just seems like they never get separation. I don't know why. It's just the single-sided receiver. I don't feel like they get separation besides on slants and posts. So I just... It's hard to get them the ball, right? Because... When you have either a tight end or two, like, let's say you go into that normal, like, four verts look, where it has a tight end, a slot wide receiver, and the outside receiver, it's easy. You can run level routes, you can run the four streaks, you can run anything, and, you know, that safety can only help out one dude, so you have a weak spot no matter where you are. And then if somebody blows coverage somewhere, you have even a weaker spot, so it's kind of... It, you kind of have to sit there and go, well, that's not really my fault, like, it's not completely my fault, like, you have to understand, like, I have a job to do to get the ball into the best spot, not to find people, so, that's why I kind of always hate the I'm frustrated remarks, like, I understand you are, but then again, everybody is, like, I'm not going to get you the ball if I can't, like, I'll never understand that, like, give me the ball, give me, give me the ball, like, okay, you want to lose, you can get the fuck out then, like, but then again, you're talking to an old lineman, so, well, old, old O-lineman linebacker, so I didn't really care about getting the ball, I just cared about doing my job and then getting off the fucking field when I wanted to, so, I, I, and I think that's what kind of played into me not being a skills position player. You have to understand I was playing an O line, standing at six foot, two twenty. Like sophomore year, I played varsity O line, and I stood at six foot, two hundred and nine pounds. No, I stood five eleven. No, five ten, two o nine. So I wasn't as tall. I didn't stop growing yet. I shouldn't have danced here. I probably would have scored. And it's gonna bite me in the ass later, so. Yeah, so. Granted, I, my highest peak weight was I played junior year, en end of junior year football. I was weighing in at 226, standing at just under 6 foot, so. I didn't play at the biggest weight. But I was physical, I was, you know, I wanted to get after it, and, you know, you got to put the best of people on the field, man. It's, so, like, my mindset was never really giving me the fucking football. Now, granted, I did want to play tight end, but we didn't have a tight end. So, I don't know if you play tight end or tight end, but we didn't have either or because my football was fucking number. But, and that's a story for a different time. You know, it's funny, everybody's like, oh, so what, you tired Varsity, and I'm like, what do you mean? There's only one other kid that got moved up, and he was my, and he was literally my best friend, and we played the opposite sides of each other. Like, he played defensive end, I played linebacker. We ran a 4-3. Uh, I mean, not a 4-3, a 3-4, so. But it was like a weird 3-4. It was like a 4-3, 3-4 hybrid. Like, there was certain packages where I would be dropping back, and we would have three linebackers on the field three other linebackers on the field. So, it was a really weird thing, but who knows, who knows, who cares, we were a bunch of guys. Yeah, but we were, we went, uh, the most, in my technically four seasons of playing, because I played junior year, I played sophomore year, and then on freshman year, I played both JV and freshman, so, uh, in my technically four seasons playing, uh, we had 
One, two, three, four, five, maybe six lanes. Five lanes, I think. Five lanes out of 36. I was five and 31 in my number. No, five and 30. For the first time, you're going to eight. But with this game, it's, it's kind of interesting playing, you know, the Cardinals. The only difference is, you know, well, there's a lot of differences. Let's not be fucking dumb about this. The old line nowhere in the states that I left it, technically. I was actually thinking about going in and moving, like, a bunch of players to, like, their team. Like, and I felt that would be weird, especially with Hop and everything. So I was like, eh, nah, I'll just leave it. I have to move Jerry Judy now. Rugs, I have to move. Um, you know, Howard, technically. And a bunch of other pieces that I just didn't feel like moving around. You'll probably hear my. Yeah, you'll definitely hear my dog in the background now. So that's fun. Upstairs, once again, because of this fucking cricket. I hate crickets. So. Let me know down below where you guys are talking about. I fucking hate it so far. I really hope he, I really hope the NFL does something. Something drastic to it. Like to like give like go to EA and say, you're ruining our fucking brand, we're cutting ties right now. Um, if you want to come back and make a game for us, you can. But you don't have a solution right now. Or we'll pay out your contract on them. To find somebody else to make it. I, I, I seriously hope that happens. Now, will it? Fuck no. Uh, the NFL doesn't care if they're making their money. EA's making their money. EA's gonna go to the NFL and be like, hey, you guys can sit here and hashtag all they want on Twitter, but the record shows that, you know, this many people bought the game, so why should we care? That's a bad dude. Hopefully, the NFL just realizes, hey, they're ruining part of our branding. We should probably you know, do something about that. Because they don't even have the correct play playoff format. Like, that was announced, what, months ago at this point, and you can't implement that? Like, get the fuck out of here. It's 17. Only the first seed gets a bye. Everybody else has to play. But it's difficult. So fucking what? The two plays the seven, the three plays the six, and the four plays the five. So far. Like, I don't understand how you're a triple A company and you can't fucking make a game. Like, like we're not even asking for much. Everybody bitching and moaning at us saying stop fucking complaining. It's just like, we're not asking for much. We're asking for, give us the accessories that NFL players use. Give us, you know, realistic progression. Give us a bigger coaching carousel. Better scouting. You know, better game planning so that it actually affects the game. I mean, we're not asking for a full ton, and a lot of this stuff was in old games, like, uh, what was it, last year or 19, they tried to fucking say, ooh, look, the Pro Bowl's back, you can play the Pro Bowl in franchise mode. Well, they're like, the Pro Bowl's here, you can play the Pro Bowl. I'm like, this was here in Madden, like, 14. This was here a couple years ago, why are you acting like it's a new fucking game? I never understood that, like, they were like, look at this, I'm like, that was in the game, you fucking knock it off. I never understood that. That would be like Rockstar taking his car away and then them re-releasing it and being like, you have to pay us $6 million now. Kind of like the laser, the uh, Jet GTA 5 on that. They, like, if you have a hangar in Zancudo, you can steal that jet for free, but they want to charge you $6 million so you can put the color on it. What? And so that you can have it in your personal hangar. Come on, get the fuck out of here. So. I don't know. What are you guys' thoughts on EA? Like, it's just getting real fucking depressing at this point. Like, I spent $80 on this piece of shit. Like, you have a point four out of a... I think it was a point four out of 100. I don't know on what website, what reviewing website, but you had a point four out of 100? 
0.4? Like... It sucks. It really does being a man in the player. 2K is not my game. It's not my main game. Uh, MLB I love, but I just can't get into it. I, I like... I like NFL, I like football more, and I just can't get into MLB as much. Just the MLB games are just slow and fucking unwritten rules, and the Astros are cheating and not getting punished, and... So. We don't, we do go into the half up in this game. Um, offense is not really there, but defense has been for the most part. Jordan Hicks will return this one all the way into like 10. So that's fun, you throw off two seconds and half. Blue line tire. What the fuck just happened? Hopefully, I can make it through this recording in the next one so that we can just get done with it. And I can get the uh, starting to upload as well as the bear stuff that I just got done. So we can get that done so I can go to bed so I can get up and go to work tomorrow. Woo! Everybody loves work, right? No, just me. It's actually started to cool down here in Illinois, so that's, so that's good, especially with working a manual labor job. It really sucks. Like being in the trailer in that FedEx, it was fucking killing me. Like some of the trailers were almost like 115 degrees all the way in the back in the big 53. Holy shit, that gets hot when you're moving around. Yeah, I've always thought about like. Because you see the pricing and stuff and the listings and all this and that about like Texas, how it's really, really cheap. It's really, really lenient. You can basically set up for what you would pay for a normal house in California. Set up like a mansion. I've always thought about moving to Texas, but I'm just not a fucking warm state dude. If anything, I'm moving to fucking Alaska. Like, I like playing Madden, it's just... All Madden fucking takes life. Years off life, I can tell you that. All Madden might be the most frustrating thing of all time. That's for damn sure. All Madden, you could be at 49 nothing and all the same and see you decide, Nah, you're getting cheese, bitch. And you're fucking losing 53 to 49. <laughs> I'm not even kidding with that shit, too. They, they'll fucking do it. They'll fucking block all your kicks. They'll fucking have you throw kicks on every single play. They'll bait your ass. They'll fucking run stop you. So. Um. Yeah, so I still haven't decided on this one. Um. What I'm exactly doing with it and who I'm doing it with. Uh, I, I kind of want to do Redskins, technically. Well, the football team. But the Jets also look fun. Uh, another team that kind of kind of has my interest is in either the Texans or the Titans. Uh, there's nothing really else that I'm super interested in trying. The rest of the teams, I'm kind of happy with just doing my five-year rebuild. Of... Um, whatever team I do decide on, I don't think I'm going to do one of the other teams for like the five years. I might just wait and hold on to that team and see if I do end up going through 20 years. And if I do decide to restart, then I can, you know, restart with one of those teams and it's not uh, boring or something like that. So. And then if I do the football team, I kind of want to relocate. I think that would be cool. But... Who knows? And I also have kind of another idea, and this was going to be its own separate, like, series, kind of. It was going to be, like, uh, it was basically going to be 20 year rebuild, but you take the team and, you, you know, you play important games. Like, oh, you're on a three-game losing streak. Beat the losing streak. Oh, you're on a win streak. You're on a five-game win streak. Keep the win streak up. Or, no, you're on a four-game win streak. Can you move it to five? Um, you know this game 
will determine whether or not you get a certain spot in the playoffs. Play it and win. You know, uh, this player is getting a development trait. Uh, for, and, it, and it will only be the moment. It's not going to be the whole game. It's just going to be the moment. So it's going to be like, you know, me just hopping in, playing the moment, hopping back out, finishing up the season, and then just moving on with it. You know? Which I, which I think would be a cool idea. And I think those videos would probably be more about 40 minutes to the P and even in, more in depth than what Miami Dolphins would. So I think that would be relatively cool. The only problem is I think progression after 10, 12 years, kind of like we saw in 20, it, it gets difficult. Like some of the top guys, at one point we had one of the top wide receivers and he was an 88 overall. So I think I would have to go through that for probably about eight years and try to redevelop. Like uh, I'd have to go through, probably pick out the top three players at each position to get X Factor and to be in like the high 90s and then you know, just work my way down the list and stuff and try to like even out the rosters a little bit, try to even out progression, move players around on certain teams so that they're fitting schemes and so that they're fitting, you know. Because like I hate when a team drafts like a left outside linebacker, like I get in this 50 year rebuild for Cardinals drafted a left outside linebacker and already had one. And the rookie with a lower rating than the starter, because the starter was like an 81, the rookie was a 79. So I got the 79 uh, linebacker for free. In here, in the fourth, it's 24 24, 415 left in the fourth. Kenyon Drake's going to take it up the sideline, cut back inside. I don't know why, but he's going to get tackled by the uh, Panthers also just have very clean uniforms, I think. Uh, their color scheme is awesome. I think the light blue and the black is awesome. And I'm a silver is pretty decent, but they need to decide whether or not they want white. Like, if they want white, they gotta get rid of silver. But if they want silver, gotta get rid of white, you know? See, me personally, I'd incorporate black a little bit more. Um, then again, I would like black pants, black jersey, blue striping with white outlining, or silver outlining, or silver inside, blue uh, trim. I think that would be cool, but, you know. Two minutes left here in the fourth. We have to move down the field. We have to go down for a drive. We have to score. We have to try to tie this game, take it to overtime, and force this game to be a lot closer. And this contested catch on the sideline is really awesome by DJ Moore, and it kind of shows how much the sliders are getting there. Like, I don't think DJ Moore would make that catch 100% of the time, but if he drops it, I'm not 100% mad, but he did catch it, so that's all you can see. Um, when plays are made like that, it's always great to see. DJ Moore gets lit up a little bit there. 40 seconds left, and we're going to run it. We'll get all the way down to the one yard line. 36, 34, 23 seconds left. Hand it off. Up the middle, McCaffrey. Inside, 31. And here is my mistake, you will see. We're gonna be better, 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 better. Stand of five. Hand off. Great. Weaving it out of traffic and he is gone. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of threw a controller out of the wall. Oh. That was fun. We tried throwing a pass, but it didn't work. I was like, let's get DJ Moore's fifth catch so he's not frustrated, and then I tossed back to Greg Little, and, no, Caleb Moen, and it didn't count, apparently, so that's fun. With that being said, guys, don't really like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff, turn on post notifications if you guys enjoy this type of content and want to see more of it. Of course, I have roster updates coming out every week. I have multiple series on Madden 21 coming out every single day, so keep that in mind. Other content will be pushed back, or will just be put on top, and we'll have two videos a day. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.